So it's Monday. Um, that's it. It's Monday. Um, this week the weather is going to be like more normal to the time of year, which is interesting, and we're going to probably get our first freeze near the end of the week. So that will be fun. Um, and the weather for Halloween looks like it's going to be like cold, which seems very reminiscent of what I had. Halloween, like the past couple of Halloweens, it was like 70 degrees and like nice out. But I always remember having to like figure out how to fit my costume over my winter coat or, you know, how to work a costume with a winter coat. So the kids today have had it lucky. So let's see here. Pretty much what I'm going to do today, artsy crafty wise, is I really got to catch up on Inktober. I am... Oh, I'm not too far behind. I'm only two days behind. Okay. Three days behind, because I haven't done 21st yet. So I need to do the 21st, 22nd, and today. set up in my bullet journal. Usually about a week or two before the end of the month I start setting up November so then it's not a rush. I'm not like waking up at like 4 a.m. like oh my goodness I don't have my calendar for November up. Especially because November is going to be busy so I want to be able to like really see what I'm doing that month. November and December is busy for most people. It's the holidays so that will be nice to get set up. I don't really know what I'm going to do. Probably something fall related or Thanksgiving related or maybe Portland related at some point because um, and when I say I'm going to set it up, I'm just going to do the monthly calendar and like start setting up the, the temperature calendar. Um, I probably won't set up the first week, which is the Wednesday the 1st to Sunday the, what is that, the 5th? Um, so I probably won't set that up until later on this week when I do the 30th and the 31st, because I usually kind of do this at the same time, even though they're in separate locations. You probably have noticed that I have a Christmas tree behind me here. See, this little six-footer. Um, because I'm going to finally get the nut corkers and the other ornament, like, at least photographed, maybe not posted today, at least not this morning, this afternoon, whatever time it is. So, um, that's why I have a tree. I was going to get down, we have a couple, like, two-foot trees, and I was going to get those down, but then I discovered they were in a box underneath everything, and I was like, screw that. I'm not pulling everything out for five minutes. So this was just like right there. So I just grabbed it and 
I just set it up here for now because this is going to be one of the best lighting places to do it. So that's why there's a Christmas tree in the back. But I thought, you know, fall, Christmas, it's all good. Um, let's see here, what else? I made my first thread up purchase this morning. I'm kind of excited for it. Um, I've always been kind of aware of thread up for a couple years now, but I haven't really like spent any time on it. And then I saw a commercial for it last night, and for some reason I like had this like obsession, and I had to like get on. And so I got on, and I spent probably three hours last night. It which helped because I was really like I couldn't sleep last night, so having something I could do I can sleep with nice. I got on and then I ended up finding like three really cute shirts, like one's like kind of a gray short sleeve kind of sweater looking thing with like lace in the front and then um, another shirt that's blue and white and it's just kind of a blousey shirt and then a, another blue kind of blousey shirt. I was really feeling the color blue. That's Every winter I kind of have a color, and this year sort of has decided to be like blue, like mostly royal blues, but just like blue in general. So I kind of looked at blues. The, the sweatery one is gray. Um, I was really excited to like finally look at this, and I cannot stop looking at it, because I've always preferred to buy things secondhand. I don't like to buy things retail, and when I do buy retail, I almost always like go straight from the sales rack. Because, like, I, I just think that people spend way too much money on clothing and makeup and other things like that. And I think you can kind of, if you really know how to work it, you can definitely get really good things for, like, really cheap. But I spent maybe, I think it was $14 on three things or something like that. I don't remember what the price was. But, yeah, it was, like, really inexpensive. And so that was neat. And since, like, probably so many of five percent of what I own is thrifted so that's even better to like find something where I don't have to go out I'm a little worried about sizes because I'm not really sure how some of these like clothing lines size things so that will be interesting to find out when they come in um, but I'll definitely like do an unboxing and some fashion-y things when that comes in so help me decide if I'm going to keep them Okay, next we're going to do Mapping Monday. So this will be the second Mapping Monday we've got to talk about, which is really exciting. Um, this week, as I said before, the theme is Halloween Town, the movie, the Disney Channel movie. And I had so much fun setting this up. I love this movie, and I really, really, really want to watch it right now, and I have no place to watch it. So this is going to kind of drive me crazy all week to have, like, this theme. So this is just kind of the overall view. And I'll do a, ah, I got caught. I'll do like an insert here. And you can kind of see it up close, but I'll talk about it too. So, um, we just got the weather on top like always. The quote of the week is, and I'm probably going to butcher this, Gaucherie. Probably should have looked up punctuation first. And it's a noun that means awkward, embarrassing, or unsophisticated. It's a good word. And so the colors I chose came from this washi up top, which I talked about the other day. And I really, really love this washi. It's from Dollar Tree. It's got these cute little kitty cats. And it's got, you know, really classic Halloween colors like purple and purple and green and orange and black. So I thought it was really good for this. Um, I decided to keep it really simple. I didn't want anything too complicated. Sometimes I get a little too much. So, you know, this is a sock. As I mentioned, like, that's kind of one of my favorite scenes. Like, the gort or gourd. I can't remember what it's, the character's name is. And then on the 24th, we have a broom. I mean, you got to have a broom. The 25th is uh, Maggie Cromwell's bag. 
I thought that's always, you know, very kind of a classic thing for the thingy. That's just a candy bucket. I was running out of things. The 27th is, you know, one of those cheesy wizard hats. So I think whatever the younger sister's name is wears one in the first one, maybe? I could be wrong. Um, that's the witch mask that Marnie's mom wears. That, uh, what is it? Cal or whatever his name is gives her. And the second one, so I thought, you know, it's another classic icon. And then, of course, you got to have the headphones. we got both in there. And then I wanted the, the little pumpkin. Yeah, I thought it turned out really cute, and it's very simple. We'll do the job. You know, I got my typical hydrates and stuff like that. I just realized I forgot to label things, but that's not a big deal. I can go back and do that any time. So yeah, that's my bullet journal for the week. Um, next week will be... I just got a text message. That's very rude. Um, <laughs> next week will be... Um, it's a Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown themed. I think I'm going to draw the I've Got a Rock scene, because that's one of my favorite scenes from that movie. And then, I'm not sure what November is. I don't even think I have November planned out yet, to be honest. I honestly don't think I have November. The only thing I know that I think I have planned out is, like, Thanksgiving week. And I have all of December planned out, because that, those will all be Christmas movies. That'll be exciting. So, um, as soon as I get off here, I'm going to edit Sunday and get that uploaded. And then um, just kind of get the rest of my today list done, set up next week or, you know, part of November and get the ornaments thingy so I can put the Christmas tree away so I don't have a random Christmas tree up in October. <sighs> See, oh, I think that's probably about it. Um, the World Series starts tomorrow, so we'll probably watch that. I haven't decided yet, but...